smoking through it all, cause nothing in life lasts forever. Lasts forever. We don't want these hoes, don't want the fame, we want the cheddar. Yeah. Total, we can have it all if we do it together. You know I'ma pass the ball, but only to my brother. To my brother. You know I'ma pass the blunt, but only to my sister. I'ma pass the bottle, pass these hoes off to my niggas. For my that shit was a logo, fool. I ain't gonna lie. I, I thought, thought like, that was part of the design. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna know. This is all Yeah, you feel me? That's what's up, bro. On Rotor, that's literally. I was. I just. I be there frequently. You know what I mean? I yeah, literally yeah. live not that far away from there. So that's what's up, bro. So you went to Gunderson. Yeah, yeah. So well, I, for a little bit, then I got yeah. kicked out that bitch, and I went to Andrew Hill. I got kicked out of there too. Went to Core, and I got kicked out of there, bro. And then, okay. Yeah, for So you feel like you uh you had like different layers of your of your childhood, like early age. You feel like you grew up early, kind of yeah. thing. Oh hell yeah, bro. For sure, just moving neighborhood to neighborhood. Like I'm I'm from the south, bro, but I stayed a little bit everywhere. You feel me? Yeah, south yeah. Is where I was just at for. Nah, I ever. hear that. Cause that's the thing about the city of San Jose is is almost two million people in San Jose. It's a big American. ass city. Yeah. The South Bay is humongous. It's Ridiculous. it's bigger than Oakland. It's bigger than San Jose, uh, San Francisco. Like yeah, yeah. It's geographically, it's bigger. So when people talk about certain sections, people don't realize like. That's damn near a city itself, like on the everything. section, like yeah, south, bro, west, real, north, real, east. Bro. South stretches, north stretches, east is crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, the west side go crazy. That's why too. when you said Andrew Hill, Gunderson, El Grove, like those, like those schools already geographically, they're like 10, 15 minutes away from each other. Yeah, yeah, exactly. that's pretty boom, fucking boom, boom. far. Like yeah, when you're driving, exactly, bro. Yeah, it's all south and it's all literally like I stayed in the same spot, bro. Been in the same place for fucking years, bro. So literally, it's just same shit, bro. Different, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I didn't graduate though. Shit, it's all good, bro. I don't feel like that really dictates a lot of things. Nah, I feel like a lot of people not. that are CEOs, they don't even graduate college. They they bake billion dollar corporations. They don't even thing, they bro. don't even got that paper. It's that mindset, bro. You feel me? That shit do wonders. So, man, I got so many questions now. Though, just the way we started this conversation, I'm over here like, damn, you literally live down the block. We probably we probably cross uh, so many paths. times, bro. On everything, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, San Jose be so small, bro. Like I be walking around uh, recently. I'll say like. The last two or three months is when people started to recognize me and be like, "Yo, bro, like, like you that, yeah, you that, bro, on that, on that yeah, Thizzler yeah, joint, I seen for that, real, bro." And that shit, that that's what was crazy too, because it's just going from working hella hard, not having nobody tapping in, not having nobody like, you know what I'm saying? Even paying attention, it feels like, yeah. and that's just that's the norm in San Jose too, bro. It feels like we're a stepping stone to everywhere else where they're looking at, bro. So when you get somebody from San Jose that's kind of doing doing their shit, bro, kind of, you know what I'm saying, it applies that pressure too, bro. No, I, for, I I definitely see that. Like, people that have made it out out of San Jose in, in their whatever industry they are, like, they, they give so much opportunity for the people after them now because now people have a have a blueprint, you feel me? Exactly, Like, yeah. you created a blueprint in a city that doesn't traditionally have celebrities or people of influence, people that are on that level, you get me? Facts, facts. The craziest shit about that is, too, everybody gets popping from San Jose and wants to not claim it just because of the fact that we're looked mm. at the way that we looked at but it's like bro if you really dig deep bro fuck silicon valley and all the tech shit like, yeah we we got some shit here bro and just in the bay area period bro yeah. you see everybody gravitate like there's the four corners you got atlanta florida you got la you got uh what else what else what else you got like miami new york yeah yeah, yeah new got, york there you go mm -hmm. new york that's where that's where it's at but somebody told me one time that if you if you touch those four corners and you get popping in all all four sections basically it's a wrap like you mm. you got it like if you're talented you feel me you got to get popping like but it's basically just about getting out of San Jose but still sticking to that script you know a yeah. lot of people don't they don't want, they don't want to claim that shit they just want to make it out and then stay out you feel like uh snow the product yeah, I heard. I heard. Yeah, yeah, she's from San Jose. Yeah, I heard about that. Like, but yeah, I mean, she won't say it. you don't see it on the things. It's yeah. just not advertised. It's just little little things. You feel me? It's crazy. Yeah, I did hear about that artist. She was from. I thought she was from Oakland at first, but then someone broke it down saying that she was from San Jose. I thought she was from L. A. Because she fucked with hella L. A. artists, and it's cool though. That's that's the route, bro. Definitely. Yeah. Like I'm trying to slide out to L. A. and fuck with everybody. Like. Well, people got their own formulas. You know, people have managed to like break out of San Jose without leaving, and exactly. some people break out without with still being in like in their own damn near their neighborhood. Yeah, for there's real, a few for people real. I've seen crack that code. Like I know, like Cuddy Banks, like a good example. Shout out, uh, bro. you know, Cuddy Banks. Like we did a vlog in the past, and we got some content done. And he's a cool ass dude. And at that Solid. time, I saw him just slowly picking up momentum with a few tracks. At that time, uh -huh. that was like a few weeks before Set Tripping came out with Big Mike and other yeah, cat yeah, in Long yeah. Beach. Yeah. And then like, after that it. video drop, fucking my vlog with him mm -hmm. went from like 500 views to like 5,000 in like in, in a couple of days, weeks. And I was like, oh shit, like you reaching. Like these numbers aren't just here geographically. They're like down Everywhere, south. Everywhere, bro. Yeah, that's where that's where it's at. Shout out to Cuddy Banks too, bro. That's that's bro for sure. That uh 
that just goes to show too like a lot of the love like he he went out to la bro locked in with a lot of people out there as a smart move a lot of people from san jose won't go to another section tap in lock in mm-hmm. really be out there in the street and just you know what i'm saying politic and just chop game and just be themselves bro and that was a big move for him for big mike for everybody involved realistically because just looking at that bro like you go to a place where shout out nipsey you, got the, yeah. you know what i'm saying rolling 60s you got like a lot of crib history bro and then they went out there and just did their shit. That's just, you know what I'm saying? It connects LA to San Jose, which a lot of people want to do that because yeah. of that spectrum, north, south, and that whole, the politic. But it's yeah. like you got somebody out here that can do that and that ain't biased. He don't hate, bro. It's like, that's rare. It's yeah. rare, surely. It's cracking the code, man. It's definitely yes, something outside of the norm, you know? Like you said, people staying in a box and they're uncomfortable with the aspect of like trying to break out of it just to get the reach, you know? On everything. But, but um, I think like you mentioned though, like how he was able to, you know, connect with different people in different areas, that's only going to benefit you. You know, you're only putting your brand even further. On everything, on everything. Um, so that's definitely a smart, because I even remember being in an Uber, and I was in the Uber and shit, and it was, and you could tell, like, it was an OG, like, someone that used to gangbang type shit, but he's yeah. Ubering, trying to get his trying life get together and shit, yeah, you feel yeah, me? So bro. I'm like, I'm like, hey, uh, like, you be slapping music? And I started talking about Emlyn, I was like, hey, yeah, check, I be doing this, I be doing interviews, blah, 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 just trying to put myself on. And then he was like, uh yeah i'd be i'd be slapping like you ever heard of thizzler and like uh, some of these platforms out here and i was like yeah i was like uh you you listen to people from san jose he's like yeah and i was like you know normally i'm expecting him to say no because i don't think yeah. people know off top yeah and then he's like yeah yeah I slap a cuddy like grabbing any cuddy, cuddy banks and i was like oh shit no way bro yeah, i was yeah. tripping because i'm in lax at the uber at lax i'm like the fuck like it blew my mind but at the point at the same time it just reminded me, like, it's going to happen. Like, eventually, I'm San Jose there, is going to break the ceiling, and we're going to hit new two new levels of, of awareness, and, uh, like, people are going to see the culture even more. Uh, they're going to have to embrace it, is what I'm saying. On everything, bro. It's, it's just a matter of time. time. Exactly. Just I was just about to say, bro, it's just time, patience, and just in general, just that persistence, consistency, and just... Uh yeah, just having your foot on the pedal, bro, and just putting out dope shit consistently. Shout out Cuddy Banks because I feel he's a solid person. And on top of that, he makes slaps. So it's like it's it's hard not to fuck with, bro. So you got a yeah. lot of people like that coming out the city, and that's where it needs to be. That's where that bias comes in because it's a lot of politics, a lot of, oh, I've never seen him in the streets, so I don't believe his music. Yeah. It's a lot of that, bro. Thankfully, yeah. you feel me? I know some people before the music, bro. Yeah. So it's like, shit. That's a, that's, I think that's a really valid point, too, because I feel like a lot of people try to connect shit with politics and just, like, where this person was at this time, this place. But it's like, you got to, like, people always want to, like, dissect your flaws and bullshit, you know what I mean? But it's like, Fair. why not talk about the positive things people are doing? Like, that's how I look at the platform is, like, me bringing you on today. Like, this my, this is your one of your first interviews. And, time. like, the fact that I get a chance to formally meet you and people get to, like, learn about you and how you perceive things, that just gives people a whole another outlook on, like, on what people... Uh, perceive you you know what i'm saying yeah that's just hard bro i appreciate y'all too. and just you know just substance like you met they mentioned about cuddy like he's just a genuine dude he's a real guy like i, I saw telling you like that's how i literally do my business like people i meet and i see that they are like down to earth people i see their vision and eventually we can find some way to cross paths make a formula that benefits us both and we both collaborate and we both win that's what but I said. you know that's it's what it's, I said. it's really challenging because like you know there's not a lot of examples of that shit yeah, yeah. Um, and I think and uh, someone on the last podcast mentioned like Atlanta because Atlanta like their culture is a lot about uplifting each other and helping one another exactly. but like to a whole another degree though like yeah for sure for like sure. we're not talking like retweets and, and posting links like I'm talking about like oh yeah it's good like we gonna run your mar- we're gonna run your music all year and then when you get to your point when you hit, hit billboard records then we're gonna produce my shit Most like definitely. the fact someone can like put away their efforts towards themselves and put it towards another person, That's that says a lot about that individual. Exactly. For and sure, for sure. that's definitely. challenging, you know? Most definitely. Hell yeah, bro. Everybody's selfish. Everybody want that. You know what I'm saying? So, do you, the cake. so do you feel like uh, collaboration would be beneficial for the SJ community in the rap? Yeah, to an extent. Like I said, uh, <clears throat> a lot of the politics comes comes into play. Like, for, for instance, myself, I don't really see myself doing songs with people like that. You know, I don't know, just... Things going around about them, things that, you know what I'm saying, ain't going to benefit me in a, mm-hmm. in a bright light. I can't really fuck with it because at the end of the day, it's just like I was telling bro too, uh, it's just that yeah, you fuck with somebody, you think they're solid, whatever the fuck the case may be. I just had a, uh, I just had it happen recently. There was somebody that I, that I thought was cool, bro, cool people, solid individual, whatever. Uh, bro ended up being like being on paperwork later on, like it, it just came out and it's cool because I never met bro, never did no, no song, no feature, but it's just 
things like that can happen so quickly, bro. And it could be with somebody like that you never expect to. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's how it happens. That's how it always happens. So. That's that's hella funny. I even have my own like my own like flashbacks. I'm thinking the moment you said yeah. that. So I'm like, that's real. And it's unfortunate because like, you know, you at the end of the day, your intention is like we trying to create. We trying to do things that are not even about any of those things you feel me exactly so exactly. the fact that those things still become a barrier for our growth for passion it's frustrating but at the end of the day like it's a growth like it's a learning uh how you say a learning lesson because yeah. sometimes you know going forward like okay like i just know how to prevent that going forward on everything bro yeah it's nothing bigger than the cause nothing bigger than the politics bro so it's just wiggling around that trying to be on point knowing uh who to fuck with who to keep distance just in general i guess like being in tune and being tapped in with your, your surroundings and just who's doing what in your city mm. that's mandatory just like y'all be uh peeping everybody I, I definitely do my research as well bro and just like whether it be that i you know i found out and came up you know on the information somehow some way randomly or i just know this about an individual it definitely will sway like will i will i work with them will i do anything talk yeah. to them associate everything man it's just uh happens like that bro it's so crazy yeah, that's real man i mean shit I, I feel you bro i be stalking motherfuckers like i be on their fucking <laughs> shit. shit i be like okay who this fool like and nah, i'm just playing but i be trying to get the inside hey, scoop though, though you know yeah. in my yeah, position yeah. like that's my job on everything so speaking of the inside scoop i was like you know going through the music for this year you know some of the tracks that you dropped and by the way like i i really like you know a lot of some of the songs that you've dropped recently and even hey, you, and you're consistent too like me and isaac Mando, were talking Mando. off camera i'm like bro this guy consistently dropping music and that's a challenge for some people because you know they got work they got priorities they got this but you managed sure. to make it happen thank um you, thank you. so definitely want to give you your flowers right now and not gonna wait until some negative shit yeah. happens for you to do that really, so i appreciate uh you taking the time to come down we get to talk about those things but one of the things the first question i wanted to ask you bro because some yes, of these sir. songs was just like like getting me to the point where i was like this beat like like whoa Yes, you sir. feel me? Yes, sir. So who who the fuck is producing your shit, bro? That's what Man. I want to know. Like I ain't gonna lie, shout out Rez from GMP. He's a he's from SAC. And okay. His brother Eli, he made the day. Uh, Rez made in my city. Eli made day ones, bro. They both be going crazy. Shout out to both of them, bro. Uh, shit. Other than that, I can't wait. That was that was produced by Vic and Trunks. They go they go crazy too, bro. Two two of them from uh they're from well Trunks from I think Oakland. VIC from San Jose. So it was crazy too. I never even met VIC, bro, but he showed love. I found that beat, ran it up, bro, and it's just locking in with everybody. But uh, shit, bro, yeah, like. And where's VIC from? VIC's from San Jose. Oh, he's from San Jose. That's what I said, yeah, I never, I never met, bro. I never, you know what I'm saying, had a chance to link up because he's in uh, Oakland. They got their little studio out there and shit, but just uh, we just locked in through through me using the beat and through them, yeah. you know what I'm saying, sending more. And it's been crazy too, bro. Like a lot of producers been tapping in and just. Like that that's what's that's what's nice too is just seeing that people are actually seeing your music. Yeah. It's one thing when it's like, okay, the city kind of fucking with it, your homies fucking with it, your your family. That's just regular. It's like, yeah. okay, this is what doing music. But it's like, all right, now Stockton, Sack, you got fucking Merced, you got fuck, you got places everywhere, bro. Sweden, Germany, you got people tapping in everywhere. You got producers from here, there, everywhere, places I ain't never stepped foot in. I'm just tripping. It's humbling, bro, for surely the but so a lot of my producers, they're either people that I've been tapped in with, like Rez and them, I've been tapped in from Jump. Since in my city, first first thing that I made that was really popping, popping. Um, and yeah, th those are my go-tos for sure. And then if not, Okati Y, I've been making my shit recently. That fool, he goes stupid, bro. I'll be, I'll be fucking with bro. Uh, and then who else? I'm trying to think, it's one more person. Hmm. Yeah, I fuck with that in my city though. In my city, yeah, that's where it's at, bro. That's fuck definitely that. where that, that buzz started, and just in general, that's where uh, Thizzler gravitated started. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with the kid and shit, cause it get hectic. Definitely, you gotta earn your respect and earn your play for sure, for surely. And that's the one thing that, like, as an artist and coming from San Jose, it's tough to grasp, cause like we want to just genuinely think like they don't fuck with our city, but it's not that they won't. It's just that we gotta make everybody. And it's not even just you know what I'm saying the platforms, but it's the cities, it's just the towns, it's everywhere bro you know what i'm saying you can't really yeah you can't float just in the city especially because another thing i'm seeing is a lot of the hate is going to come strictly from the city and not anywhere <laughs> yeah else, right? it really is like it's that just, too it's wild because i notice even like when i do pop-up shops and shit like i sell clothes and shit i'll yeah. go sell outside of uh, san jose yeah, yeah i'm yeah. not saying people sounds like hate on me but i'm just noticing the different levels of support because like when i go to like oakland or when i go to la these motherfuckers are like buying all my shit they're trying to cop trying to spend they're some trying favorite. to spend yeah and for sure, for sure. they just grateful because they like damn you came all the way out here to do this like that's that's even big yeah that's solid bro for sure for sure san jose's a little uh you know what i'm saying it's hectic it's love hate for surely mm -hmm. definitely that's that's the big part of like 
uh, we were talking about earlier, the charisma character, just holding yourself a certain way and just, you know what I'm saying, not settling, bro, that shit will definitely take you a long way, especially out here because there's really no room to settle. Like, mm. you know, there's not too much to look up to or look at and be like, oh, I got to pass that up. So it's just yeah. really making your own route out here, trying to stay in your own lane and just strive, you know? I hear that. And even living by just good qualities of life, you know, exactly. principles, morals. Take some I feel like a lot of people, it <laughs> takes take some shrooms. shrooms. I've been yeah, hearing this. I've yeah, been hearing this shit. Yeah, that's just... I tried and it failed, bro. I'll just hey, tell you right now. Man, bad trip. I, I wouldn't even say bad trip. It was like no trip at all. Like I didn't get a voucher. They didn't. They didn't even pick me up in the bus and shit. You oh, feel man. me? Gotta get a better plug, <laughs> man. Gotta get a better plug. Oh, okay. No oh, offense man, to the I plug, should. cause he's probably everything. watching this shit. Hey, no I'll disrespect. Nah, it's fine. Shout out the plug. Um, but yeah, bro, you mentioned um, what you call it. There's a bar on the in my in my city that you said tomorrow I never promise where you live in my city. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the comments on there, you know, I'd be I'd be browsing through the comments, and somebody was like, "This dude fire, never heard of the dude, but this slap, this is a slapper, Shark Tank all day." Yeah. And that was one out of eighty six comments. So like, you've been utilizing like social media, like Thizzler, Daily. Uh, I think the other one was called um, Daily Slap. Yeah, like, there's a few Thizzler. platforms that I've noticed you've been going through, and it's like a different strategy. You know, because some people just do it organically, but I noticed that you leverage the platforms too. Mandatory, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, how, how has social media been an impact for your uh, for your growth for your music? Man, that's just hectic. It's definitely crucial for sure. Just in general, being able to tap in, being able to be available where you're not, being able to be seen where you're not wanting to be seen. It's like shit. If I could post a picture, get 500, 600 likes, whatever the fuck it may be, it's like shit. 500, 600 people just thought of me right now, bro. They, you know what I'm saying? I don't even have to pop out yet. Mm -hmm. And when I do pop out, that's the dope thing too. Is like. Uh, social media help because it's so much easier for people to find you when they see me in the city shooting my video then they see my snippet online bro mm -hmm. like we we was out there bro we see yep. you we see you, and like we tap in with the city we show love we're out you know what I'm saying doing our thing so it's pretty cool it's like it's crazy and it's cool to see the city get you know what I'm saying tapped in and really fuck with the movement and really just genuinely be because it's, it's rare for surely definitely rare yeah. um and and so you've been like and that's the thing too like you've been filming a lot of your like i was going through the videos and i was telling my boy isaac i was like damn this fool's like filmed at least 12 13 videos in the past year like yeah, that's yeah. like i gotta give you props for that bro that's like i know people that haven't even put out like at least three music videos within a quarter you know not like i'm comparing everybody moves at their own pace but mentor, mentor. but i understand like everyone has their own algorithm shit. i would say Some, but sometimes but, less is more bro shit. it just uh it depends on the artist and shit exactly sure. but the consistency <clears throat> like for our not type though. of you know route is like you got to be consistent especially with social media on everything bro so like uh on one of the music videos i know you filmed it uh how many featuring that day june um Shout that out, was a that was right there in the city hall when you were involved protest. with the protest. Yeah, yeah. Like, what was that like? That, that was, was different. That. that shit was wild, bro. I'm going to tell you, like, like, fuck the, you know, the video we did that de definitely for the cause, bro. Like, it wasn't to go out there and interrupt what they had going on and shit. We were literally just a part of what they had going on, bro. Just to be out there and see the city united for once, bro. That shit. That, that was shit big. Wild. Yeah, definitely. That was bro. really big. Like, we agree on something for once, bro. Like, yep. that shit don't happen often out here. So, like, it was cool. It was, it was a moving bro to be out there and to be marching with the people especially with all the hate going on it's like shit it's good to know like i'm dedicating my time to a real cause versus speaking on another person's come up or you know yeah. what, I'm what they're trying to accomplish and shit it's just feel better yeah i thought that was big bro like you know it's a big message that you're sending you know you were you were like highlighting about the situation with george floyd and even other victims of police <clears throat> violence oh, um and you brought up victims of like sjpd like anthony nunez and jacob dominguez um big tribute to them and their family like how oh, how was their family responding to that positive gesture man i ain't gonna lie bro like <clears throat> actually shooting the video i ran into the family out there um i didn't even know they were gonna be out there and it was it was emotional for surely to hear so much about them and what they've been through and everything that they've strived through and uh you know to see them in person and really just hear the pain and everything bro yeah. definitely uh it was emotional for Charlie, um, and their their reaction was was nothing but love, bro. Uh, Anthony Nunez, pop shout out to him. DJ Rhino, that uh, he showed a lot of love. His mom showed a lot of love. Um, Jacob Dominguez family showed a lot of love, bro. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of support. RIP to both of them, man. This shit is hectic, but um, they they've definitely tapped in and shown some shown some love, shown some support. Just definitely let me know they fuck with it and fuck mm. with the movement and uh. You know, it's dope. It's genuine. Everything's been solid, bro. So, you know, it's it's cool. It's just dope to know that, like, I just did that to let people know that I wasn't only doing it for this purpose. Like, yeah, this is the main reason, but, like, I'm only speaking on it because our city's felt it. We've dealt with yeah. it. We've seen it. We've, uh, like, a lot of my friends and my people have effect been affected by that, too. And, like, uh, it's just, it's been crazy. A lot of them, like, a lot of my people know them, know of them, fuck with them, fuck with them. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
just RIP, bro. Shit crazy. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, the fact that you did your homework and just put in the put, plugged in like a actual circumstance from our city, that was big. And uh, just the message that you're sending, like just the, that we're against the systemic racism and like the police brutality um, and highlighting those individuals and their families. Like, I'm pretty sure that meant a lot to them. Um, and that's why I give you you know, props for that, because it takes effort to do that. And some people, you know, they just try to do it in the sense of like trying to get the attention as most opposed to like the actual tribute. Um, so I give you a lot of props for that. That's what I really thank wanted you, to talk to you about. Um, so I thought that was big. Thank you, thank you. And uh, just to dive a little bit more, like I want to kind of take it back a little bit about how you got into rap and basically where you got your name from. Because I'm pretty sure people are curious to know, like, who, what's Balski? Oh, like, what? Yeah. Who, 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 why Why the name Balski? I'm that, curious. Definitely trip. All right, so <clears throat> shout out Duda with the scooter. I'm driving in the shooter. That's my brother right mm -hmm. there. So basically, long story short, I, you know, uh, I used to write. Graffiti and shit can't okay. incriminate myself too much. So I don't want to say the <laughs> name. It's all good. Funny story, but I'll, and I'll tell you after. But mm -hmm. uh, shit, basically they shortened it. They just they shortened it. So not to you know what I'm saying not to call me by that when they're calling me and shit, bro. Bolski, just mm. you know what I'm saying. And it stuck. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Like I was back and forth. I was rocking with six four. I was rocking with like bless a couple things, bro. Like my name could have been any and everything, bro. But I was just really thinking on it, thinking on it. What's gonna mean the most? What's gonna you know what I'm saying? Had the most impact and shit, and like shout out to my boys too, cause when I I, I literally wrote down a list like, bro, which one is he gonna yeah, be? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But am I gonna just go by like my what people know me by? Am I gonna go by like what people know me by, but not everybody knows me by? And that's just yeah. what I chose. Is like shit, say less. You feel me? Just mm. less is more type shit, bro. And so yeah, I chose that, and it's crazy because I chose it not knowing that like you know there was really a deeper meaning to that shit. I just chose really? it because I was like, yeah, they're like, yeah, that shit. Shit sound cool, bro. Like, and I was yeah. like, all right, for sure. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to run it up. Yeah, I'm going to rock with it, bro. And, like, uh, it's different, too. Yeah. For sure. That's another reason it's just different. But, like, you hear that shit and you remember it. People, they be fucking it up all the time. I'll be like, broski? Bro broski? <laughs> broski? I'm like, nah, <laughs> I'll be high so Yeah, <laughs> bro, on everything. For so it, it, it's hectic. It get crazy. But at yeah. the same time, it's like, uh, it's cool. Give me a chance to correct them. Let them know and just kind of promote myself. Yeah, exactly. Like, you promoting yourself every time you're telling them what it is. Yeah, bro. I'm out here in the city. Like, I'm mobbing, bro. I'm at the store to the store, store, fucking like, everywhere, bro. And every section, fool, and I'm talking. Like, I'll, I'll chop it up with people. I'll put them on my music. If they see me, they say, what's up? If they don't, and they just happen to ask something because I'm tatted up and they're just curious about it, bro, I'll be like, yeah, bro. And by the way, I do music. I want to go look yeah, at shit. You feel me? Yeah, just quick little promo, but I'm not really the type to be like, yo, this is who I am and this is what I do. Like, I don't like to put it on the front street. Mm. It's just more so like if it's a genuine conversation I feel like somebody was fucking with me, I might, like, you know what I'm saying, throw them the bone and be like, yo, bro, like, you want you want something good? Just yeah, like, yeah. bro, I got you. Like an organic but, encounter pretty it, much. Yeah, just like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't ever want to force it. I don't ever want like, or yes, man. I don't want nobody to be like, yeah, bro, that shit goes crazy and then it's weak or like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a seven out of ten. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm trying to shoot for Fucking, I'm trying to shoot for 10 out of 10 every time, but I'm trying to go stupid with it. And uh, that's that's probably the only challenge, really. But uh, it's been cool. The feedback's been good. You know, people people show a lot of love, say they ain't been disappointed. So it's just uh, a lot of pressure. But, you know, staying humble and just knowing yourself, doing your research and be on point with it. And shit been cool, man. I'm trying to drop nothing but hits. I got a couple going crazy right now. They're the origins, man. Now you know. Because I know you got fans that are just like, bro, I, I, I want to ask him myself. I never catch him on the block, though. Like, you be moving, you know? Oh, so now this is the good thing about the interviews. People get a chance to understand that now. So yeah, now definitely. you know. Yes, sir. Um, and it's, it's original. You know what I'm saying? You, you ha And that's the thing about other perspectives. Like, you got homies around you that you're willing to be open-minded with. Like, you yeah. just being like, hey, like, what y'all think? And they probably all give you different perspectives, and you kind of take it with a grain of salt, I'm assuming. Yeah, definitely, definitely, because everybody likes different shit. So I hear my partner slapping some uh, DB by the bag, and shout out, bro. Uh, our shit's a little different and shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, but definitely, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I see what they fuck with, and I don't ever try to gravitate towards it. I don't try to copy what they fuck with. I just try to do my thing. And uh, like, I'll really just talk to my partners, bro, and they'll, they'll, they'll show love to niggas that really support me and really be like, yeah, I fuck with, bro, and I see them doing something, and I see it. They'll, they'll definitely give me their advice and give me their love. And... For the most part, it, it, it's not even really necessary because, uh, like, yeah, we go through everything together, bro. Like, <clears throat> we be going through everything together. So when I speak on some, they, they already know what I'm talking about, too. Yeah. So it just makes them gig that much harder. Knowing yeah. Like, Damn, bro, I was there for, like, Yeah, you know yeah, saying? facts. Because like, they've been through, through the journey. Like, this yeah. is your day ones, pretty much. On everything, exactly. Day ones, bro. That's why that video went crazy, too, because a lot of my partners, they're like, we don't kick it every day. We don't be, you know what I'm saying? Everybody on their ground hype doing their thing, especially, yep. like, 
trying to really do his music shit. But it's shit. Don't get it twisted. Still working. Still out in the streets. Still smiling. Still like just not loose. No yep. more. You know what I'm saying? Definitely got to have a tight. You're moving. You're moving with intention. Like Thanks. you know what you want and you know exactly what you're going for. I fuck with that. That's real. Sure. Um, and w- another one of the slaps that you got uh, called "Can't Wait." It's a bass slap type of vibe. It was featured on Daily Slaps, and there was just I was curious because I was like just doing my research and I was looking at all the videos. And towards the end, it was like right there on like close by Seven Trees. It was at the liquor store, Marina and Foods. then he had the security guard, and he looked like he was like the nicest security guard. Like this guy was like he was scared to kick y'all out and Shout shit. Out Brad, Brad. But he Shout was out. like I was just curious, like this, this y'all he's trying to kick y'all out or what? What was going on? Nah, there? nah, he was trying to set trip, bro. But we ended up getting him <laughs> in the video, and I was that's why I was hella weak because I was like these dudes are like just joking around with him and shit. He's yeah, literally bro. trying to get him out. He's trying to kick us out of the shit. <laughs> because well to be real we didn't use the scene like it was when i was sitting on the hood of the car okay but basically i had parked up on the sidewalk and shit we had all the lowriders out and all that and uh i'd parked up on the sidewalk yep. and he was tripping because we had the lights going off in the car my cousin got the little you know what i'm saying yeah so, yeah yeah Yeah, we had that shit going off we was going stupid slapping everybody drunk as fuck and just <laughs> going makes sense off, he's just bro. trying to do his dougie and shit yeah yeah, yeah but that yeah. shit was a, a great video and a great song too thank you brother thank you y'all we showed him love too we didn't punk him bro yeah, yeah no that's what i'm saying no i saw movie. love i could tell like because that, that's the thing people don't understand like sometimes we be like so vulgar with our locals like that are not like us yeah, but yeah. they we just really got that relationship like with the liquor store they guys understand, and, bro they know what's up yeah they know it's all love and shit i'm like oh yo what's up auntie like what's What's new on the menu, man? I'm trying to get thing. something to go. Like, for real, I feel bro. that. Yeah, facts, bro. Locked into the local liquor store. It might sure, be a Southside thing, for all I know. Hey, no, on, I on everything, <laughs> bro. For real. I was just going <laughs> to say, bro. Nah, that's for sure. But that liquor store that I shot uh, in my city at? Yeah, yeah. That's all hella love, bro. I ain't going to lie. Every time I pop up, that'd be definitely. That's on the West, right? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Right off San Carlos. Yeah, right yeah. I think Carlos I remember. Boys. Yeah. Yeah, fucking, they show my love too, bro, on everything, fucking, member support, they're past that, yeah. And actually, I didn't even ask you about that. Like, how has COVID, like, impacted what you've been doing, you know, uh, prior to COVID and after COVID? Like, was there any changes? Man, fuck COVID, bro. <laughs> he uh, said, fuck I, COVID. Bro, I had to get tested, like, two or three times for that shit, bro. Just oh, like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, trying to make sure I'm smooth. Hell make yeah. Make sure my son's smooth and shit. Uh, Hell yeah. My girl, everything, fucking. Yeah, honestly, bro, I ain't gonna lie, uh, but other than that, thankfully, all the family's healthy, bro. Like, it hasn't impacted too closely. Mm. You know, I've seen some close to home things that kind of made me worry or made me be like, yeah. you know, but I try not to get too shaken up by by everything on the outskirts. You know, I'm not saying that if it don't generally affect me, it, it don't concern me. Yeah. But it's just so, so like, uh, you know, I don't try to get too caught up. Like, I Yeah, you, in, you got a peace of mind at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah. Came in yeah. without the mask, bro. I ain't too worried. If you're not trust y'all. <laughs> Smoothies, <laughs> yeah, yeah not nah, little, little little things, you know, like uh, but to be real, COVID, you know that shit. I just been working through it, bro. I've been trying yeah. to just be consistent, just keep working, and just let you know what I'm saying, let people see that it ain't finna stop me, and if it ain't finna stop me, and I'm doing my thing and grinding, like shit, you know, I ain't going. And I still work, bro. I still yeah. handle biz. Got my son, and I'm active father. You feel me? Shout out there to you the go. active father. That's what's up, That's man. That's mandatory. Uh, yeah, bro. It's, it, it get hectic for sure, but man, this COVID shit is just. Just another struggle. It's a bump in the road for sure. You finna bounce back and be ten times better. I don't know about the economy. Actually, it's gonna be hectic, but uh, I mean, I don't know, bro. I feel like I just uh, I had a conversation with like um, someone that worked in like corporate America and shit about what they thought about COVID. Because I'm yeah. always trying to get opinions. Of people. Sorry, yeah, you know, just like professional pr- opinions or whatever. And I was like, what y'all think? And they're like, bro, this is gonna last three years. I was like, three years. I was like, bro, like they just. Oh, they just talk about like closing this shit. You talking yeah, about three yeah. years, and he's like, "Yeah, bro. I mean, if you look back at the Spanish flu in 1918. It took them four years for them to actually recover and go back to like regular shit to normal protocol. It That's took them lot. four years. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like yeah. right now, we only less than a year on everything, bro. And it's and crazy. The vaccine shit. ain't out. And mm-hmm. the thing is, once the vaccine's out, it's not guaranteed it's gonna work. Yeah, they still, gotta, still run. gotta get that. They gotta shit, do bro. tests too. Yeah, and they ain't gonna test it on no white folks. That's mm-hmm. facts. Uh, big fact, big fact. So and there's just like a lot of variables that make people like concerned and shit but um i guess the best thing we could do is like just kind of give action items to people and how they can you know positively re- like positively react to this situation like yeah, exactly. make some money learn a skill uh take the time to educate yourself on something new that's whatever that's a good perspective on it because i was finna say that's <clears throat> it gives us a lot of downtime to work on you know what i'm saying the things that we don't get the time to work on a lot of us don't really value our time so much because yeah. so like me I, I focus on payday, bro. If it ain't yeah. payday, I don't know what day it is to Period. be real with you, bro. Yeah. Like, keep it G. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, yeah, you just gotta keep working through this shit. Don't let it don't let it affect you too much. I mean, obviously, if you get that shit, bro, it's gonna affect you somehow, some way. But like, 
Yeah, just gotta strive through it, just like everything else, bro. And like, that's crazy that you mentioned that too, because four years is a long ass time for anybody. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. So like, what we gonna do for those years is like, and that's why I was like, have, have a conversation with my girl off camera. Like, I was telling, her, I was like, like, what is life? Did life stop for us, or is life still going? Yeah, like, bro, like fine. not literally, but mentally, you feel me? 50-50, bro. That's how I feel, yeah. Because it's like, okay, like all the things that we were working towards, are they um, are they stopped? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, are we yeah. not working towards that no more? Like, yeah. what's the new goal? So, exactly. you know, sometimes uh, you got to self-reflect and just see where you stand and just kind of like what direction you want to take from there. I feel like this shit for the entrepreneurs, bro. It's like, for the ones that knew what they was doing, bro, you shit. feel me? Like, shit, Shout out to the entrepreneurs, man. On everything, bro, Gary V. Nah. Shay, you know, Gary, I'm wearing a Gary V's right now. Hey, you feel me, man? K Swiss collaboration. You hey, feel me? These are kind of beat up, though. These are kind of beat up. That's how you gotta do that. I gotta so blur it out. Putting in that work, bro. You feel <laughs> me? That's man, though. So you watch Gary V too? Nah, yeah, I definitely pay attention to, uh, yeah, a lot of people who just, you know, have a good perspective and, and got a lot of success just off of their perspective, not so much their what they did, what caused them yeah, yeah. to everything. And it's cool, too, to see, bro, locked in with so many people. And it's dope to see he don't stumble. He knows where his mind is at. He knows what he's thinking. He yep. just steps ahead of the ball game. So you ask him that question, he he got the answer for you. Period. Bro. That's just that confidence. So I fuck with bro for surely. Uh, yeah, he definitely, definitely a uh, gem. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. I learned a lot just studying him. Like a lot of his shit created a lot of these ideas. Bro, shout out to bro for surely. Yeah, that shit. That's a little unorthodox. I'm trying to think of like another person that you probably study that I wouldn't expect you to study. Uh, Les Brown. Les Brown. That's Les fucking Brown. the old OG, OG, right? Yeah. You're talking bro. about the dude that used to do the motivational speeches before Eric Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, I, just I got some of his shit. I got bro. some of his shit. Man, that shit was... I like his shit because it's like uplifting. He talks about exactly. life. And he us. talks about a struggle, bro, too. Yeah. He, he always starts it off with how he was, uh, you know, was it? They said he was basically labeled mentally handicapped, adopted, you know, fucking, you know, he went through all these labels. All struggle. Yeah, exactly, bro. And he, he, you know, he surpassed all that, bro. And he, you know, shout out to bro. He's successful and fucking overcame that speaking in front of people shit. And now that will speak in front of everybody, bro, and get paid to Conquering do it. stadiums, too. On everything, bro. Yeah, and he got a lot of people that listen. Like, he's he's one person that I definitely listen to, uh, like, in my downtime. And I'm talking, like, just being down and out and just not doing music, not having, like, not my son, anything, bro. So, not like, literally not having anything to wake up looking forward to. And, like, I just... Kind of took 10 steps back from everybody, bro, and just started listening to that shit, working on shit, started a little tiny business real quick. Once I seen that shit pop and, like, got out of state with that, that's when I was like, all right, bro, like, I'm just going to go do what I really want to do, which is music. Because I was like, pursue what you love. Yeah, bro, hell yeah. When I, when I stop having fun with it, I'll be done with it. And that's just shit, bro. I get like that with the music shit sometimes, too. Like, everybody will say, like, oh, shit's going good, shit's going, you know, but it's like, bro, in my mind, I'm like, damn, but like, it's a uh, marathon. Yeah, exactly. It's real life bro. marathon. On everything, yeah. But it's cool. It's worth the run, bro. It's definitely worth putting that work in and putting that effort forth and shit. So shout out Les Brown, uh, Tony Robbins, a couple people, bro. I definitely, uh, like, just in general, you know, a lot of people don't take that time to just get that free game, Get bro. that free game, bro. Yeah. It's free. Literally everything, free. Bro. People hey, people be paying, like, and that's the white folks, bro. Be paying, like, 250 to $500 to go sit in that seat. Listen, I got that shit on YouTube for that. Facts. Bro. Yeah, I'm finna do that. Yeah, I believe uh, I believe investing yourself time and money is mm -hmm. worth it for sure. Ten and um, so, are you like the type of person to like to like to get motivated? Like, look for shit that motivates you, like to get into like that zone. Yeah, for sure, for sure, definitely. Especially being out here, bro. It's not a lot that's gonna uh, like look, looking around and shit outside of this room. You ain't finna see a lot in the city that's gonna motivate you. A lot of yeah. your own peers won't even motivate you. That you'll see a lot of people supporting uh supporting outsiders before they support their own folks. And it's mm. maybe it's like. Why are you in that position that I'm not? You know what I'm saying? Why, why do people fuck with you? This and that. But it's crazy. It's just it's just uh, dope. And it's motivating for Shirley to see that because you, you start to like pinpoint. Like, all right, cool. I don't got to go to my circle for yeah. them to fuck with it. But it's good to know who in my circle just genuinely yeah. fuck with shit. You know? No, that's a good point of view. Like, because, you know, a lot of people are, are expecting their close friends. And sometimes it's not even their close friends. Their close friends might be some real ass motherfuckers, and they're just like, "Yo, shit, trash." Yeah, exactly. Like, "Yo, shit, made me not that good," and you just yeah. want me to give you a, a, a participation trophy. Man. When in reality, it's like I'm trying to challenge you to get better. So then, when you come back with the next heat, I'm gonna give you some real criticism, yeah, whether yeah. it's good or bad. Nah, that's definitely what I surround myself with. Because before, uh, shout out Sound Cave, Bruce Hefner. Hey, shout out to Sound Mark. Cave. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you're familiar, bro, like uh, produced by Mark. KID, a couple of them, but realistically, I was rocking with Ooze Hefner and produced by Mark, bro, and they put me on a lot of games, show hella love, just in general, like, they, they kind of 
whatever I didn't know, they sharpened my, my sword a little mm. bit and kind of just, you know, put me where I needed to be. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, then it was genuine. It was all solid. It was all just building business relationship, teaching me little things, taking me down to Thizzler for little opportunities that had nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. But it was just crazy. It's crazy to see like people from Thizzler gravitate towards me, even though I wasn't even there for myself. You know, it's yeah. just motivation and shit. So shout out to them because they put me in those, you know, positions and shit. Uh, and yeah, yeah you've been on them reels, bro. Man, man, for sure. Shout out to, you know, Young Monk too for showing a lot of love and shit and, uh, you know, supporting the kids. It get, get crazy out here. It's a lot of hate, but... Uh, Nigga, definitely show love. You definitely support and shit. And there's, at the end of the day, that's what Sound Cave taught me too. Uh, they finna support what's real in the city, bro. Yeah. So, like, they, they finna see it. That's why my collabs are so minimal because it's like, bro, I really got to fuck with you. Like, I don't care if you were popping, if you are popping, mm -hmm. if you used to be. It's like, just where your standard yeah, of work yeah, is. Yeah, you could be trying to get popping. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. It's, you could be a hard-ass worker with some fire songs, bro, but if you snitch, if you got beat up on camera by yourself and didn't even got anything, your shoe thrown, you got fucking... I mean, shit happens to everybody, bro, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, like, at the end of the day, it's just just how somebody holds themselves, bro, versus what they rap about and shit. It's just, it's just you know what I'm saying? It's just yeah, crazy, bro. just get, like what wild. they say, period, you know? It's just yeah. like easy to say that, you know, you, you're about this, you tweet about this, you post about this, but you really, like, go out doing fraudulent shit. Exactly, yeah, and people in the streets know that about you, so when yeah. you're rapping, bro, it's like, how you feel comfortable knowing that people know yeah. this? They listen to you, you know, it's not authentic, bro, so it's just... That's the that's the pressure applier to some people. For me, I don't. Thankfully, I don't have that problem. It's just a. Uh, so I've been genuine. I just take ten steps back, and I don't be. I like even just being the artist around my friends, bro. I'm not that one. It's just like, hey, look at me, look yeah. at me, look at me. People will look at me, bro, and I'm grateful for that. You know, if they don't, shit, you know, turn around, see what you're turning down on everything, <laughs> bro. On everything, but yes, yeah, it, it get crazy. Uh, wait, what was the question again, though? Uh, now nah, I was just you know just kind of we were just kind of. Kicking the kicking it off, just kind of diving into the perspective of like how, honestly, bro, I don't even know. I don't know okay, the question. Bro, hey, I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Yeah, I was, I was, you were, you were going in, and I just kind of like was listening to what you were saying. I nah, forgot what the question was. Nah, I'd be like, I'd be diving too much. Nah, <laughs> but uh, shout out to Sound Cave and them. They definitely got uh, got me to where I needed to be. You know what I'm saying? With the, they they were doing their thing. Yeah. Uh, some some things happened with the studio, and so I had to I had to go and reach outwards, and it was either Red Wall. My partner Vinny Van Gogh, shout out to bro, or uh, my partner that day June, and mm -hmm. that's actually my engineer for everything, bro. So like, oh, okay. yeah, that day June at that day June on IG, bro. That's that's my partner right there, and he a uh, talented artist, bro. He's actually an artist from the city, but you know what I'm saying, like. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, he was the one featured on how many? Yeah, bro, and yeah, he's yeah. talented as shit. It's just he the, looks familiar. I feel like I've seen him somewhere. I don't yeah. know where, but. If you uh if you went to Gunderson, I don't know if you know Four A Visuals. They're in the same circle. Uh, <sighs> nah. Four A Visuals, Antonio Acevedo. That fool, he uh he's my partner right there. That's the one that shoots a lot of my videos, a majority mm -hmm. of my shit. Him, Newer Media, and uh you know a couple of other people that I've been rocking with here and there, and uh yeah bro yeah man fucking that's big man honestly you just found that if you find a foundation in your city that allows you to grow and genuinely care about your growth i think you have something that a lot of people can't can't find uh and the last one is at 21 officially as an adult what's the first legal thing that you did shit 21 i was still doing illegal shit he <laughs> said i was still doing illegal shit. shit i'm bro. talking about like you know going to the movies i'm talking about getting some a swisher or some shit because you know it's 21 now swisher to get a swisher for Charlie, bro. yeah swisher <laughs> swisher for Charlie. and then shortly after that i was straight to the backwoods bro and i never went back from swishers to backwoods I yeah i feel it bro I, honestly like i don't know bro i have like a i have like this like a uh, bittersweet relationship with woods like i fuck with woods because i get a high yep. i get a different element but then sometimes I get frustrated rolling it, and my homies gas me and shit, and I don't want to hear that shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, I just want to roll the fucking gorilla finger and get it over with. They apply that pressure, bro. Fuck and they apply up. the pressure, man I fuck up. And then guess what? We all fucking fucked up in the in the in the smoke session. Like, bro, this shit is unraveling. Was good. Nobody high. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 and and especially when you buy yourself. Okay, I ain't even gonna get into that. that but if if you buy yourself and you make a, a bad wood, you waste the whole blunt, and that's oh, where I get that's nah. where I get frustrated. A whole lot of trees, especially if you put in a point. Five, you put in a ten sack inside of a backwood, and knock it off. Yeah, knock you uh, off. that's that's might as well just be a swisher. Hey, on everything. <laughs> nah, but I was having love hate too, bro. I ain't gonna lie, just because I'm a '90s baby, '95. So I, hey. I was like, bruh, 
I don't know about those woods, bro. Nah, they're not good for Yeah, me, I was kind of low-key hating. Yeah, they used to give me anxiety. I used to have that anxiety shit. Hell it's tough, bro. But honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, you know what? If, I, if I'm gonna be doing music and somebody offered me to smoke a wood, I ain't gonna start acting weird because that should give me anxiety. <laughs> but I was like, I gotta get past that shit. But on everything. Like, I'll just take one hit, yeah, pass yeah, it. On everything. Pass so, the rotation. Yeah, bro. That's, you know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, for definitely a swisher was the first thing that I bought when I because I don't drink. Yeah. So. Oh, you don't drink? <clears throat> no, nah, I sit the henny sometimes. That's time to time. A special occasion. I don't so. drink beer neither, bro. Nah, it's I nasty. can't. It's you feel me? Not See, time I knew here, I bro. wasn't the only one. Nah. I I be getting shit, boy. I'm talking about. Oh, you don't like Medela? What the fuck kind of beer you drink? I'm like, I don't drink beer. Like, what the fuck? Like, I be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I fuck with the Micheladas. That's about it. That's as far as I'm going. I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to grow on those. On, on everything, yeah. I think the Chavela's growing me more. Bro, they got a shot in there, so that's why I was at a twenty-one. <laughs> bro, for Charlie, back to back to back. Um, but yeah, bro, I fuck with the Hennessy. I sm- I'm a more of a smoker than a drinker. Same, same. I, I fuck with wine though. You fuck with wine? I be dabbing. My girl fuck with wine, so I got to. But nah, nah, hell nah. He's like, I don't be going in, but I'll bro, take a cup though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think too much about how they be stepping on the grapes with their feet. Oh yeah, you know first. what? I never even thought of that. Bro, now you got me thinking this yeah, shit. Bro. <laughs> Come yeah, on, Balski, bro. I'm over here like, yeah, I can't fuck. Do it, nah, man. just playing. Yeah, I tried. No, nah, that's real though, bro. Have you ever, have you ever had a backwood and red wine though? Nah, bro, I haven't. Try that nah, shit. I'm, I'm gonna have to try that. For One sure. time though, like, and, and, and don't and get some red wine that ain't gonna give you a headache. Don't hey, get no. What's that shit? Menage, of, menage. Of, what is that shit called? Menage toi, some bullshit. That shit, <laughs> but that's something else, I think, bro. But try that, bro. It's a different crossfade. Yeah. I've been telling people, bro. It's a different. That's an OG crossfade. That's On what I call thing. it. Hey, sometimes you gotta throw OG back, crossfade. Yeah, I will be dabbing too much sometimes too, so I gotta take a step back and just be like. I only be dabbing when my homie lifted. He be he be he be having all the shit around around him, and I'm like, you trying to dab? I'm lifted. Like, Fuck. Does he have like a barbershop? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think I know. Yeah, that's the homie right there, man. Yeah. He's been coming out here since middle school. That's right. Shout out, bro. I've seen this shit around for Charlie. Yeah, he uh he be getting sponsored by like the earthquakes and shit. They be showing him love and shit. But uh I got I got one more thing I gotta ask you before I conclude this because I'm so curious. There's one of your videos where you had six nine bodied on the floor, blood leaking, yes, looking sir. like a mummy. Yes, sir. What's the message? Man, no snitching. Keep no snitching. Say less. No so snitching, man. This, this sure. is a glitch in the system, bro. You can't be doing that. It's I mean, not allowed. It's not allowed in certain places, for surely, bro. Yeah. So, so, like, in his scenario, though, yeah. in, like, the way it was, you don't give him a pass, though? You don't think it was logical? Shit. Just curious. I just want to hear your thought. I can't. I, I mean, he don't, get a, he don't get a pass from me on, like, pol- um, politics shit, but all, all everything aside, I ain't going to lie and say they ain't did that anything. Dirty, dirty, bro. They yeah. Got them, they, they did yeah, they did got them fucked up. But like, I will say this. You play your own position. So yeah. if, you, if you sit there, you play that clown role, don't be yeah. mad when people look at you like a goofy. Yeah. You know like a saying? lot of people, the way you break it down to me is like the moment you decide to play a part, you're already associated. So exactly. it's, at that point, you already made your decision. So whatever happens ends up being just like a stem of what you had decided. Ten steps ahead. Yeah, you should already know where that, you know what I'm saying, where that's going to lead you and shit be. All in or all out for sure. But if someone fuck my baby mama, bro, oh my, not just playing. Hey, bro, I'm just on, fucking with you, right, man. On everything, I think it's all perspective, <laughs> bro. Like I think it, it it depends on on the person because I don't think bro is tripping so much about that. I think it's like probably the, the disloyalty. Obviously, I think yeah, any, it was a different any, level of disloyalty yeah, for sure. Any solid person taking trip, millions, bro, bro. fucking yeah. up relationships, fucking your baby mama, and that yeah, bro, it's the. Cherry it's tight. On top, like, yeah, that was the cherry on don't top. Don't fuck for with sure. my money. Don't fuck with my, hey, yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> my bro. foundation cut off. Oh, Everything, no, man. man. <laughs> for real. Yeah, nah, she trifling though too, but she for the streets. So that's how I have to say that. Oh, uh, yeah. He, he I, she be confusing me. She got a tattoo of him, but be talking shit about him and then be in the music videos with him and then go out on a marketing campaign with herself. I'm like, nah, 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 they playing the Kim Kardashian Kanye thing, I feel. It was that Sarah girl. It was that Sarah, the one that looks like. Just like him, bro. She looked like a twin. Like they just. Oh, they. Like, oh, oh shit! They're two yeah. different people. Yeah, bro. Well, they, yeah, they look like twins, bro. For sure. They got oh, the this whole teeth. time I thought that was the same person. No, they got the same teeth, bro. For sure, bro. No, no, no. He got the same teeth. Nah, yeah. He, uh, he has his baby mama, and then he got that one female with the. the yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this whole time I thought that was the same girl. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'll take that full shark chain on everything. Bro. That shit go stupid. That shit. Pass or not, bro. That yeah, that shit do go hard. Some San Jose shit, but he wouldn't even know that, bro. He nah. even though he did come out here to perform a show, you know, a lot of people went to that show. No, that's what I'm saying too. A lot of people went to that motherfucking show. That was six nine headlining. Why y'all ain't beat him up? That's what I'm saying. No, nah, no, nah, I'm fucking around. That's just, hey, that's just how it be though, bro. It's like a lot of people gonna say a lot of things, but you know, you just get face to face, bro, and it just it's a whole different story, bro. They see six nine, they're like, oh shit, that's fucking Goomba, bro. That's fucking like trying to get a picture instead of 
sticking to the script you feel me sticking yeah to the politics. i don't know if you saw recently like he was out in public and shit taking pictures and shit on the yeah, subways yeah. like nothing never happened i ain't gonna lie bro. everything and all bullshit aside all politics all everything i respect bro's uh like standpoint as an artist bro i'll say that if he didn't snitch bro i would still think that fool was a genius because at one point when he wasn't a snitch i definitely thought <clears throat> bro was you know just Fucking, he, he's very smart. He's definitely people. cracking the code, like definitely. in the sense of like understanding how like these big brands like Justin Bieber and uh, fucking uh, Ariana Grande, he like he's cracking the code that they're doing to break through to these numbers. Exactly, and that's yeah. he's using the industry game against the industry, and that's where I feel like you know people aren't diving deep enough to understand that. So I understand like the different realms of this conversation, but I I, I do give credit where credit is due. Like he exactly. is outsmarting certain ways and shit yeah as an artist i can't sit there and hate and say whatever because if you're doing something that works and you know what i'm saying i'm doing my thing and it's yeah whatever it's like i ain't gonna sit there and be like oh yeah nah fuck this now nah, yeah better. it's just like it's what it is it sucks that he did what he did type shit and that's just yeah. where like certain things come into play you know if like good like good or solid or cool or yeah. whatever people do fucked up things so got to be very cautious in this game bro because yeah definitely anything yeah because i feel like that scenario would be completely different out here like and you got new york and shit i guess you know they got gangs and shit out there but i feel like out here is a little different definitely um uh i guess the last thing i wanted to mention uh is where can people find you where can they access you how can they support you how can they stream your music i want you to get a chance mm -hmm. to get all that out so people can support you to the fullest okay okay well, shit, go follow me on all uh, on all platforms at Bosky64 on everything, Twitter, SoundCloud, well SoundCloud Bosky, you see that shit right away, Instagram, YouTube, everything, bro. That's the one way you can support Apple, Title, um, anywhere that you all streaming platforms. Just go go type in Bosky and go slap some, go find something that you like and just slap that shit on repeat. You gonna find something you like for sure because I'm versatile. I don't just make. One thing for one person. There you go. You know I mean? Yes, sir. Versatility. Diversify your portfolio. You heard it here. Yeah. So make sure uh, you click the link right here. I'll put it on the description so you can click all his stuff, access his page, go on the page, click the bio, stream all the music as much as possible, make a playlist, add to Q. We need all that shit. Fact. We need it Fact. all. All Show right. Some love. Show some love. And this won't be the first time we connect. You know what I'm saying? Thank Most you so much for taking the time to come down here and get a chance to formally meet me and meet the people in the team and right, um yeah just get a chance for me meet you and, and give you a voice for the people to hear you out and shit man it's love bro i appreciate y'all having me just all the hospitality support and everything bro y'all fuck with them but for sure the mln is where it's at but yes sir you so, heard it here uh i appreciate that any last minute things you want to tell san jose like what's good what to look out for what to anticipate shit the city going up just anticipate that for surely slowly but surely bro slow and steady win the race slowly but surely the marathon continues slow feet don't eat oh, embrace the culture it ain't exclusive if it ain't an m1 exclusive this is your boy bq the low-key facts podcast and we out we boom Smoking through it all, cause nothing in life lasts forever. Last forever We don't want these hoes, don't want the fame, we want the cheddar yeah. Told her we can have it all if we do it together You know I'ma pass the ball, but only to my brother You know I'ma pass the blunt, but only to my sister I'ma pass the bottle, pass these hoes off to my niggas